Starting out the morning with some passing low level clouds and showers, but as you can see, nothing too heavy or widespread, but that is forecast to be changing. Now, what we're also seeing for today are trade winds. They're here, but they're not blowing too strong. Although we do have double digits that have been continuing to come through for Kauai. Take a look at our current conditions. So, 17 mile an hour winds just clocked in in Lihue, but aside from that, we're looking at all single digits. So, for today, winds forecast up to about 20 miles an hour, but kind of like yesterday, again, we did see those. Wednesdays off, so they're not too, too impressive. Now, we're going to be seeing some changes on the weather front. One today, extra cloud cover. High clouds are going to be pulled over us coming in from the west, but two, in the coming days, especially Friday, we're going to see a lot of rainfall ramping up. This is a look at the future satellite and radar, and this is a look at Wednesday evening. Now, as we progress this along through Thursday night, we see some big changes. So this is a look at 7 o'clock on Thursday and starting to see some of that moisture taking over for Kauai. This is just one forecast model, but pretty much most of the forecast models are showing Friday as our main rain event day. As we progress this along through, it's not just the eastern end of the state that's going to be seeing it again. We start for this over the western end, and then it moves through to Hawaii and Maui County as well. So Hawaii Island by the afternoon hours on Friday, even you guys are expecting to see some of those showers. Good news is it pushes further to the east late Friday, so this will look at 8 p.m. So by the weekend, it's looking like we are going to be seeing us back to some sunny conditions. That's the good news, but unfortunately, even though we're going to be back to some sunshine, we're not going to be back to our trade wind flow. So trades, unfortunately, going to be leaving us for the weekend. Variable winds taking over on that day, Saturday into Sunday, and then we'll continue to see the sea breeze pattern dominate on those days. So for the next two days, cloudy, but still typical trade showers. Friday, widespread, potentially some heavy showers. Saturday, Sunday, sunny, but no winds, and then our trade should return at the start of next work week. That's all your weather, and I'll send it out to Surf News Network's Betty DiPolito, who has everything you need to know on your surf front. Hey, good morning, Betty. Good morning, Kelly. Well, we have some little waves coming in to tell you about. Uh, it's uh, really small on the North Shore. Our North Swell is way down. Two, maybe some three-footer still left over on that swell. Now, there are some Northwest Swells uh, slated to come in uh, Sunday couple northwesters so it's not over that's for sure uh pipeline uh that swells passing pipeline by just go somewhere else it's just one to two feet maybe uh Makaha checking in one occasional two and there's some little waves in town some energy from the south which is kind of late in the season but it's about two feet on the set maybe a two and a half are coming in once in a while Waikiki one occasional two uh Sandy Beach a little bit bigger one to three and Makapu with these trade winds up about two to three in those choppy bumpy kind of conditions Trades are up about 15 to 20 today. High tide 10, 15, 1.6 feet. Low tide uh, 545 and sunsets 550 uh, today. This report brought to you by No Foods. Why learn to cook when you can just know? That's NOH Foods, seasoning, sauces, mixes, and more. Uh, NOHfoods.com for more info. All right, that's a look at the surf. Ross and Christine, back to you. Aloha.